This is 13 ABC Action News with Diane Larson and Lee Conklin. A massive barn fire this afternoon took the lives of several animals. We have 13 ABC News drone footage showing the smoke shooting from Fantasy Acres. That was a horse boarding facility in Middleton Township. 13 ABC's Michaela Marshall, our first reporter on the scene today. She's live now with the latest. Michaela. Lee Diane of terrible day for anyone who enjoyed this horse barn. Fantasy Acres offered riding lessons as well as boarded horses. Horses and today four died as well as a donkey. Of course, this is heartbreaking and shocking for all of those horse owners. Eight-year-old Maya DeLauder took riding lessons at Fantasy Acres. Maya loves trotting with a horse named Jay. That really one. fun. The horse boarding facility on Roachton, right across from her Wood County home. She and her father, Matt, taking in the devastating scene of the destroyed barn. She rode the horses, uh, specifically Jay. Um, There's also chickens and I believe goats in there. And just a bunch of the horses that they let us see and ride and watch them uh, prance around. When daddy told me in the car, I felt really sad. I thought it was our house. Just after three, the horse barn went up in flames, a hot and windy October 1st, adding fuel to the large fire. The roof burning, collapsing, smoke could be seen for miles. Crews from multiple area departments responded and cycled through. The first on scene, the Perrysburg Fire Division. Chief Rudy Ruiz confirming four horses and a donkey died. Animal owners gathering, taking in the emotional loss together. Oh, obviously they're devastated. I'm sure they treat them like family. 11 horses did survive and roamed to the pasture as crews continue to tackle hot spots and sort through the metal and debris. Chief Ruiz says barns are known to store combustibles. There's a fan that, from what I understand, that was on at the time. There was nobody inside. Uh, however, that's the only thing that we can think of at this time. An active scene for hours. Roachton was closed from Fort Meggs to Hall Prairie. The owner of Fantasy Acres was at work when it started. It's really bad for her. Obviously, the uh, family is very distraught. We have to take that into consideration, but we want to make sure there aren't any uh, foul play, obviously, uh, but uh, we'll conduct those interviews in a short period of time. Okay. Any indication at this time that it could be foul play? No, it's difficult to say. I, I don't want to speculate right now. Again, for now, the cause of the fire remains under investigation. Chief Ruiz did share with me that at this point, they believe the flames may have started in the southwestern corner of the barn. And a friend of the owner here at Fantasy Acres shared that the 11 surviving horses are staying safely at a nearby barn. Reporting live, Michaela Marshall, 13 ABC Action News.